So this weekend we have one of those classic readings that help us to understand our role in our country, and that is the famous give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar and give to God what belongs to God. And during this time where we're preparing to discern you know, who we might elect to, to care for our country and to help guide us into the future, I think it's helpful for us to really reflect on what this reading truly means. What truly belongs to Caesar and what truly belongs to God? And the answer I would say is that our hearts do not belong to Caesar. Our hearts belong to God. Now, that makes sense, and you might say a priest, of course, would say that, but how many of us put our hope and put our hearts in worldly things, even in important worldly things? We set our hopes and our, our, our joys and our expectations on someone that we vote for uh, fulfilling our goals and fulfilling our needs and, and setting everything right. But truly, the only place we can really put our hearts is in God's hands. All the other things in this world, of course, are important. We need to work to bring about goodness in our world. But we can't do that if our hearts belong to a political ideology or to a particular cause. Our hearts need to belong to Him and to Him alone. And then with our hearts firmly in God's hands, we can act in this world in a beautiful way to bring about His glory and His goodness. It's hard. It's hard for us because God seems to be far away and uh, the, the causes and the people that are uh, asking for our attention are, are much more present. And they bring about serious issues that we need to consider. But all of it is nothing compared to having hearts that truly rest in our Father. So the question to ask ourselves is, how much is my heart in God's hands? And how much have I invested it in worldly things, even as good as they are? They're nothing compared to God. We need to put our hearts in his hands. They belong to God. They do not belong to Caesar. And so let's make sure that he has possession of them. That's what I'll be preaching about and praying about this weekend. God bless you all.